Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is the thing that's keeping players from coming back and training with you. And this is something that commonly I get asked all the time um, through email. And a lot of times trainers are going to get a high volume of players at once. And at the end of the month, a lot of those players leave and they don't know why that's happening. Um, they are confused, they get down, they think that their program isn't good anymore, um, and they don't know how to correct that. So the first thing I want to kind of chat about is what is the thing that's bringing players to your program in the first place? And this is something that you have to figure out. I can't figure that out for you, but you have to sort out why are people training with me? And once you understand that, then you need to kind of dive a little bit deeper and figure out, okay, what are the things that I need to have set up that are going to keep the players coming back all the time, not just for one month, but for month after month. And you also have to think about what type of commitments you're asking from the parents. Are you just allowing them to come whenever they want, or do you want them to come for a certain amount of time? And that's a mistake I made early on. And if you watch any of these videos, you hear me talk about the mistakes I've made. And it's funny because I've had conversations with coaches recently um, who have watched these videos, who have listened to the podcast. They do get my emails um, and they've even gone through the books um, that we've published. And they want to try to, you know, like redesign everything and do thing their, do everything their way. And if I was you, um, I mean, I'm not the only person out there who has created a successful soccer business, but I would tell you that you want to duplicate something that's actually working um, and learn from someone who's already been through mistakes. This is why I created Soccer Entrepreneur. Um, I want to help more trainers out there figure out how to do this rather than them go to, through all the mistakes I went through because I've already gone through literally every single possible mistake. Um, and when I didn't figure out how to get players coming back and training with me, that was a really hard time for me because I kept having to search out for new players month after month. If I had 10 players one month and five dropped out, I'd have to go find five more. Um, and that put a lot of pressure on me because I was always constantly having to try to figure the next thing out. And once I started to really dial in, why are people training with me? What's the thing that's bringing them back? And I'm going to boil that to kind of three different things. Um, but once I figured that out, it made it a lot easier for me to have players consistently in my program. This way, I know I have, let's say, for example, I have 10 players in my program. I know next month I'll have 10 players. I know the next month after that I'll have 10. And my schedule set, so I know I can build around that schedule instead of having to frantically having to go find new people to be in my program every month. And that's a big problem I see is a lot of trainers have a lot of turnover. And that's something that you have to be able to figure out on your end. Um, but I'm going to break this down to three things. And these are the three things that really help me is what is the training experience like? And this is the thing only you can kind of do on your own. But you have to sort out why or why is someone training with me? What is what am I doing different that they can't get in club soccer or on their high school team? And what makes you unique? And that's something that you kind of have to figure out, like I said, but you have to figure out exactly what that is. What is what are you doing that's better or different than everyone else? And why is someone going to want to come back and train with you? The second thing is the relationship that you have with the player. And when I say there's three different things, these aren't in any particular order, but I see a lot of times coaches are very standoffish with the players or the families in their academy. They're, they're not going to take the extra effort to be on a 30 minute phone call with the parents about something that their, their son or daughter needs help with, or they're not going to show up to the game um, on Saturday at seven o'clock in the morning to go watch them play in a big game. Um, or they just won't take the time to get to know people personally. And this is the thing you have to understand is people who are in your academy, you want to treat every single person like they are the only person um, in your academy. Um, and when kids get that kind of attention, that makes them feel really good. And when they can look at you 
as not just the soccer coach, but as the mentor, then the whole relationship changes. That, that makes you the person who is the authority in soccer in their life. And when you have that set up, then that player is always going to want to train with you. They're going to have a much higher, higher level of respect for you, especially if you are a committed person to them and show them that, hey, like, I really care about your success on and off the field. So your, relation, your relationship with the kid um, and with the family needs to be at a high level. And that's something that, I mean, I can't really teach you how to do. That's something that you have to do kind of on your own. Um, and if you're not willing to take those steps, it's easier to lose clients in this business because they don't know that you genuinely care about them or not. Like anybody can just go do a one hour session, um, show up, do a great session. Um, anybody can be a great soccer trainer. But what happens outside of that is actually, I think, even more important. Um, how, how you care about the player, how you care about the parents, like what sort of things are you willing to do outside of the session for them? Um, this way they can build more trust and belief in you as a trainer. And the last thing really just comes down to the accountability. So what kind of accountability does the player have outside of training with you? And really what I mean by that is what are they doing when they aren't training with you? Are they just going home and watching YouTube videos or are they doing something specific that you're asking them to do so this way they can get results faster and they are being more accountable to you and your program? This way when they see you, they are proving that they are doing something on their own. And a great way to think about this um, is people who need to lose weight. If they hire a personal trainer, if they train with them five days a week and they have awesome 30 minute sessions, but when they go home, they eat terrible, those sessions are useless. And the trainer at that point doesn't look like he is making any progress with his client because he can't control what they're doing outside of his 30 minute session. And what you want to do as a trainer is you want to have full control of what's going on outside of your sessions. So if you're training people once or twice a week, um, you want to make sure between three and five days out of the week when players are on their own, they are following something that you're giving them to do. And this is only going to add more value to your program when you start doing things like this. And I talk so much more about that um, in my book called the Startup Soccer Academy. Um, but I think it's really important that if you figure out those three things, people aren't going to want to leave your training program. They're only going to want to stay and refer more people to you um, because the trainer who helps the most, the trainer who cares the most is the one who wins. And it's funny, like in my town, um, I see a lot of times parents who call me, they ask me about, you know, am I going to actually come to the game? Am I going to actually do the things that are on my website? And the answer is always yes. Like we're always going to take those steps. Uh, we're not going to just talk about doing something in one of our programs and then not go do it. Um, we're going to give everyone, you know, 10 times of what they paid, like 10 times the value of what they pay for. This way I know when one person comes into our program, whoever they are friends with, whoever their teammates with, we have a high chance of getting those players to join our program too, because we know if we do a great job, they're going to want to refer other people that they know into my program. Um, so those are the top three things that I would focus on if I was you, if you want to make sure players are staying in your program. If you have any questions on that, make sure to shoot me an email at startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com. Um, below this video, you can see all the different resources we have. Uh, you'll see my book, my email list. Uh, you can join that for free. Um, I send one email out every Friday. Right now we have a video that goes out. Uh, once a week on YouTube. So make sure and subscribe to our channel. Um, I have a tip that goes out um, about how to start your academy. And this also is relevant to other sports too. Um, it doesn't matter if it's soccer, basketball, football. Like if you're doing any kind of private training, um, I like to make this relevant to all sports, but specific for soccer. All right, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.